Okay, uh, just to prove I've done it, I guess, there's the right hand side uh, cut out, ready for welding. Need a little bit extra uh, cut out there, it's a little bit rusty. It's in behind the B pillar, but the A pillar, sorry, but uh, yeah, so that's all uh, pretty good solid metal there now. There's a bit that we took out and uh, There's the uh, new A and B pillars. I got these with the car, so I only needed to, to buy the A pillar for the left-hand side. As you've seen, I've remade the, the B pillar for there. And uh, yep, there you have it. All the rest of that all looks all nice and pretty solid there. A little bit of tidying up to do in, in that area there once the B pillar, the A pillar, sorry, goes back in and uh, hammer that up a little bit. A little bit of a dent there for some reason. We'll have a look at that. And, uh, but the rest of it's all pretty good. So there you have it. Ready to go again. Get the old oxy out. And, but I'll have to take the the front back off the chassis to do that because I can't get in behind it with the dolly to hammer it up as I oxy it along. So put that up on a couple of saw horses and yep, weld those in and uh, moving quite moving along quite nicely. Okay, I welded in the uh, little part of the body there that the inner sill mounts to. This is on the front front section. Um, yeah, got a, quite a nice little little job there. But I did get a little bit of heat distortion, and you can see the the gap there. It doesn't always work out that well if you don't clamp it down probably it will will uh, pull back to the sill okay uh, when I go to spot weld the, the rest of it on uh, I've offered up the, the new A pillar there and just to see that it's all going to happen uh, we'll go around and have a look on the, on the inside and you can see there the plate welded in. Oh, there was a little extra uh, bit up the top there. But uh, yeah, so that all should work. Work okay. On the other side, I haven't welded in the section there yet just had to put a little little patch there as well a little bit of rust there showing through but all in all it should be all okay Well, looking at the uh, left-hand side now of the front sill area in front of the the B post, I've cut that cut that bit out um, to replace it. Probably could have got away with this <laughs> with this piece here if I wanted to, but uh, by the time you clean that up, it's just as quick to uh, cut it out and cut a new bit and oxy it in. The actual B pillar before I did that kind of looked fairly reasonable on, on the outside as you can see there and I'd cut the bottom off and the amount of rust that fell out of there was incredible so I 
we've got a new B, uh, A pillar, sorry, not B, A pillar coming from Kilmartin. And uh, you can just see the bottom part of that. It's I haven't even bothered to look up any further. It's just my view for a restoration, totally unacceptable. And I think a, an A pillar was about 150 Australian dollars from Kilmartin's. So that'll mean it'll have all new A pillars, one B, new B pillar and a remanufactured B pillar all around. So there'll be no rust up in there to be bothered with. Um, just had to put a little patch on, on there. Yeah, a little patch there. It wasn't actually rusty there, but it had been bent. So, uh, yeah, put that little bit in. So, once we get all that put in there, should have quite a tidy little job to go on with. All of the rest of it up there is quite, quite sound. Needs a little bit of sandblasting up there. But uh, yeah, all that, all that side's quite good. Okay, we're looking at the left-hand side now, and uh, we've put in a few little oxy tacks there, or a couple with the Mig, just along there, and. Uh, Oxy along there, and three little tacks there with the MIG. There's the uh, body mounting bracket is in behind that area, and I found that trying to uh, weld that with the Oxy, the heat seems to get taken up by that bracket, and uh, I just can't get the little pool. So I'll probably uh, MIG that little area, but the rest of it. Um, I've got those tacks in, I'm going to let it cool down for a little while and uh, try and limit the distortion. I've got the whole thing sort of fairly well braced up with uh, clamps and and what have you. And uh, But you've still got to be very, very careful and brace everything up, otherwise you can get it all out of shape uh, very quickly. But I'll let that cool down now. We'll go and have a little bit of lunch and come back and um, finish that off. Uh, there was a little repair patch there. And uh, you can see that little bit there where that uh, bracket is. A little bit untidy, but the, uh, the new B-pillar goes over that. So we're probably not going to see any of that once it's all welded in and tidied up but uh, there it is tacked in so uh, I'll finish it off and show you how it all turns out Well, here's that uh, piece welded in now, and uh, I've just set the uh, new B pillar up there, just to uh, see how all that's going to be. There's a little bit here that I've got to uh, fill in, a little piece there. Whoop. <laughs> cover that. I actually cut that lip away so I could get that get the camera focused. I actually cut that piece away so I could get that uh, piece of panel right up to the front there. I just made this little piece here put, put it back so it'll all look nice and original. 
couldn't see any other way of doing it. Um, I didn't bother on the other side, I, but yeah, there you have it. <coughs> so I'm pretty happy with all of that. Well, what do you know, we've got a little kookaburra has come in to visit me, sitting on the front of the car in the shed. Hey, what are you doing there, fella? Hmm? I hope you're all right. Hey? I hope you're not sick or anything. Hmm? Well, look at you. The things you see when you're building a car. I didn't even see him come in. Hmm. Time, aren't you? Hmm. Pretty quiet. Like I'd be three foot away from this, this bird and he's just sitting there looking at me. Unbelievable. Hmm. Unbelievable. Hmm. Any songs? Got any songs? You come in to laugh at me with this mess I've got here, have you? You laughing jackass. Well, there's a few other people laughing at me, including my wife. <laughs>